Hello, I'm Dr. Rita Gatswani, the last name being from my first husband who was Indian, as in India. At times there will be negative thoughts that completely overtake you until you feel that any happiness inside you has disappeared. You wonder what happened to your good mood. Why am I imprisoned by the negative thoughts? Well, guess what? You are the way out. Do you know that even me with my act together and my dog Walter was shaken by a short and simple call from my mother. I saw my ex-boyfriend's status on Facebook. He's getting married next week. Her energy takes less than 3.5 seconds to break me down like kryptonite. Even from a nursing home. The guy who tried to get me to pay his student loans and never bought me a birthday present because he conveniently forgot. But now he's happy. My boss said, where? He said, you're gonna withhold my check from me. I don't know why, he in a bad mood. You know, I hate him, I hate my job, and now I hate my life. The negativity becomes a habit, like a default mechanism that kicks in and takes over. Like a demon you give power to who needs to live. All the times he said I was the one. All the times he said he wished he could spend every day in bed with me. Effing liar. So I'm suddenly in this negative energy from my drama queen mother. And then what happens? This guy who steps on Walter's feet keeps walking. You want to tell me I'm whack? I'll tell you you're whack, and that'd be the real truth. And every day when I wake up from a nap and I have to fight to remember what I have to live for, and I think about all the things I don't have yet. He didn't even hear him whimper. He was too busy thinking about his stocks. You want to come at me on radio, on video? Let me tell you something. You ain't worth the mud beneath my hot top sneaker. I think about when I was a little girl, I never thought that I would be working so hard like this in a job for an asshole. I got on the bus and I had visions of stabbing him. I was so caught up that I missed my stop and I was late to an appointment for my Botox consultation, which made me so furious I pounded my fist through the Bloomingdale's window, which in turn screwed up my shellac manicure. All this set in motion by my mother's doom and gloom. You know, I buy myself a Mega Millions ticket but if I don't win, I feel like Jesus Cristo has let me down. Till everyone in the world is your dark, victim-like mother in disguise, or just a selfish cell phone user. Yo, don't get me started on those honky-ass white boys talking like I want to hear their damn cell phone conversation. That gets me boiling, you heard? You want me to step to you, get all close, and be like, yo, that yeast infection was mad disgusting. How you like me now? Why Jesus Cristo don't care about me? He don't hear me cry at night to win some money? So who says you can't change that? Why do you let the negativity win? Why do you think it's more real than being happy? How easily do you get derailed by the mood of others? How easily do you let your thoughts get wrapped up in negativity? And why are you looking backwards instead of forwards? Who are you? And is your middle name powerless? Who says you have to hold on to unhappy thoughts? If you knew that anything was possible looking forward, then why would you look backwards? I was sitting on the subway while the person next to me was clipping their nails. My mind started to get swept up in a fury of tornado-like violence. And then I said, hold on, I've got bigger fish to fry. Like the romp I had in bed last night. Why wouldn't I think about that? It was so hot. I can think about shopping with an unlimited gift card and that's just for starters. Just because he drained my bank account and then told me that I was making it up, that we had a relationship, does not mean that I have to think about him for the rest of my life, you know? Do you know, I am going to go dance to merengue and salsa because I can dance. I have two legs and two feet, and some people don't even have that. And I am gonna forget all about this pendejo and his problems and his cocaine because I can be happy and he cannot be happy. You know, poor guy, poor asshole. I'm starting to see how lucky I am. I am very lucky. Simply shift your attention to your bigger fish, to what's grand and wonderful to you. Do you know you have permission to do this? I bet you didn't know that. It's like you're a 10 year old kid and your mother says to you, do you wanna to go to an awesome party with lots of ice cream? Or do you wanna sit in the basement filled with mud? What are you gonna choose? Yo, fuck the haters, for real, what the fuck? Like, you gonna let your head be dominated by some drama like you a small mouse and you ain't got no other shit to pontificate upon? The time has come to stop punishing yourself by thinking about the darkness. Step up, rise up, get the fuck up. It's time to get real. It's time to get sexy. Stop acting like a shrimp ass scallop and start sitting on your throne and not your toilet bowl. 
Make the choice on behalf of yourself. For once, there is no law that says you have to stay soggy. Don't be a slave bitch to negative thinking. I'd like to welcome friend and fellow therapist, Dr. Federico Donatello Marscapone Goldfarb. Thank you so much for having me on. Um, I'm sorry, but uh, is there a teleprompter that I should be looking for? Uh, not today's show, no. <gasps> Off the cuff? Oh, how exciting. So, people who are so easily derailed from being happy are those who find it difficult to be grateful for the things that they do have. An overwhelming sense of not good enoughness pervades their being, as if they are afraid that being grateful for will keep them where they are. Yes, so stop grabbing at the negative mood like a fuzzy comforter just because you're used to it. Go ahead, focus on what you're thankful for. A body in motion rests in motion. A body at rest stays at rest. Break the pattern by, by creating a new focus. In short, be the power. So I'm Dr. Rita Gotswani, the last name being from my first husband who was a schmuck, and so is my second husband, but that's besides the point. I'm happy now and you can be too. Tune in next week for more tips on how to rise triumphant despite the dipshits trying to steal your thunder.